Welcome back everyone for the next part of Adrian Odyssey Untold. In the last part I already mentioned that I wanted to grind to level 5, which I did, but my plan of farming end didn't really work out. You wanna know why? Because I have Ren at such luck guitar. Okay. <laughs> why? Simple. Every time I shop, I need to rest in order to get the next day so that I can shop again, right? Now here's the problem. It costs a lot to sleep. Like 156... Wait, 65 N. Okay? <laughs> I don't make that much every time I shop. So, uh, yeah. This doesn't really work out. Should I make maybe a little bit of plus if I also find a few monsters here and there? That isn't really worth it. So instead, I just level up to level 5, and uh, yeah, this is going to be good enough, right? That is going to be good enough. Now, without further ado, let's just continue our exploration. After all, the, the radar this place. is waiting for us to complete our mission, right? That's... So let's see. Something is growing over there. You look towards where Ch Ch I really have problem with her name. Tlachka. Is pointing to see red fruit growing just within your reach. You consider for a moment whether or not to eat the fruit. That is a very good question, but since we are technically speaking on the first floor, this should be safe, right? How about I'm going to allow the girl to try it? I'll follow your lead. After all, it is the first floor, it's going to be safe! And I think you are also the one who found it, right? It's sweet. Oh, you liked it, right? Maybe? Well, you didn't really say anything else. I'm not really sure about that girl. <laughs> it seems like she's kind of shy. An enemy, huh? Now, oh, well. Are you ready? So we just quickly draw this Enough in while Ren is just killing everything on sight. Uh huh. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, is there anything in this corner? It doesn't really seem like it, and as it's you can close. probably see from my enemy, XP huh? bar, yeah, I we still try to farm a little bit of extra money. <laughs> Since uh, I wanted to buy a new spear for myself. But I still didn't want <laughs> to get to level 6 yet. Unless, of course, in the recording itself, so uh, that's why it happened. <laughs> Anyways. It seems like we can go further to the north and also a little bit more towards the left. Uh, never mind. Hmm? How come there are so many dead ends around here? Oh well. Uh, you step into a dead end at the forest edge, covered with bushes, uh, brushes and brambles. An old rucksack, seemingly abandoned by the past explorers, lying at your feet. Is this the same thing like the boot? Hmm. Is it going to be a trap? Must have belonged to one of the victims of the forest. Guess no one is missing him. Or rather, missed him. Should you pick it up? Can't even check the surrounding, huh? But then again, as I already said, I have those two surrounds, so it's going to be safe. You peer into the rucksack and find a number of coins inside. Right. Keep them. I'm sure that if they would have wanted it that way anyways. After all, there's nothing else they can do with 100 N. Now, technically speaking, that is almost enough for one rest in. <laughs> really, 165. It's kind of ridiculous, right? Kind of ridiculous. So, as you walk the forest path, you notice that your map of the plains area of the labyrinth is complete. Bravo! Oh, already? Nice. Okay. Looks like you're done. When peers at your map and nods with a smile. You must return to Rada to report the complete mission. As you walk, you reach a clearing filled with blooming flowers. Mm. Ooh, what a sweet smell. I feel like it could draw anything in. You com contemplate it whether to rest and enjoy the sweet smell or leave immediately. Draw everything in? Ooh, wait. Wait. I think I know what this is. And technically speaking, I think we don't want to be around here. 
But we have the girls, so it should be fine, right? Maybe? Can tell. Taking a break. Guys, protect me! <laughs> okay, a rest might be good. Renata Tlatka agrees to your suggestion and sit down, jingly in the sweet-smelling clearing. You close your eyes and relax as you feel the aroma clear away your fatigue. It's here. Uh huh. You started at a quiet yet ins insistent voice. A pack of wood flies has gathered around you because of the sweet smell. It seems you are not the only creature in the forest lured in by the sweet floral scent. It's close. Careful. They are poison. This could get a mess uh, this could get messy. Knowing that escape is futile, you brandish your weapon and prepare for battle. An enemy, huh? Are you ready? Ah oh, yes. Venom's flies, eh? Okay, going to prepare the drawing stands right away. Please put him to sleep, and I'm just going to dodge. Yeah, again. With those two around, I do not need to worry about a thing. Enough of that. But Good I guess work. if I were alone, that would have been a very stupid idea. Very <laughs> stupid idea. <laughs> do you want to note it down? Of course. So let me just quickly check the walls. Shortcuts. Nothing. Okay. But at the very least, we have another shopping point. I'm just going to draw in the walls. Here. And with that, we are this one too. pretty much done. You right? should record that one. Let's just quickly delete that one wall. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. I guess it's about time that we return. An enemy. So, the woman walked beside you, suddenly raised her, uh, her right hand in a signal for you to hold. What is it? Stop, Ray. Something is not right. The trees around you begin to rustle, confirming her suspicion. The birds scatter and you hear a noisy rumbling. <gasps> Earthquake? Wait. As Ren shouts, you feel a severe quake that feels as though it could have leveled the entire forest. But the quake stopped as suddenly as it started, as if nothing had ever happened. Yeah. Huh, been a lot of earthquakes in Atrium lately, Ren remarks. Hmm. The woman looks around briefly to confirm that the shock has indeed ceased before she continues. Well, then. Okay, back to Rada. You can't let a little quake or two stop you if you wish to complete your mission. You can see her point. You must return to Rada Hall now and report to them that your mission is complete. Ah, <sighs> but I guess the second I do so, Let's it's going to be back. goodbye, you two, right? It's literally going to be goodbye. Which also means I don't have the chopping ability anymore. <laughs> Shoot. Oh well. I mean I cannot what I cannot keep them forever. It would be unfair to have level 30s for myself the whole time, huh? Yeah, I, I guess I need to let them go. You have a report to make, yes? Yes. I need to return your, your adventures. I would really love to keep them, but I need to let them go. We are it grateful would be, for it your would heart be way too broken. <laughs> way too broken. Indeed. Ah, a very good map for the first floor. We will hold on to this. Now then, Ren, what do you think of your our Highlander's work? I didn't do anything. I only drew the map. I let them fight every battle. I was literally sitting in the back line. <laughs> but how did I do, huh? Was I good? I defended for it like a champ, right? Right. Well, it wasn't bad. He's got, he got potential. If you're asking if you have a good man for your job, I can say you do. Uh huh. I see. I see. You may leave then. I'm sorry to have taken your time. I know well how busy you are. Mm. There's no need for that. We all, uh, we were told to work with you, so we did. We will be going now. We will may be going now. Good help, Highlander. Goodbye. I'll see you later. Good luck. 
Daddy go. Oh, I'm gonna miss him. Well they done. were so helpful. So great. <laughs> There's also a reward for the mission you completed. 200 N. So, now the inn is going to be cheaper, right? Now then. The rat is prepared, uh, is prepared to take them as their word. Uh, oh my god. It's prepared to take them at their words that you have the metal required to be an explorer. Since you come from a clan that has always been loyal and respected our alliance, I have a mission for you. A new mission has been available. Or rather, it's available. Select it in accept mission. Was there something else? You'll so, is it mission, about yes? the actual thing that I'm supposed to do around here? The reason why you called us to this place that you didn't really want to elaborate yet because we still needed to prove ourselves, which I actually didn't really do because I just protected the whole time. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> ah, so you accept. So, wait, wait, before I do, uh, while investigating the strange happenings in Atrium lately, we discovered a mysterious ruin. We believe this related. You must explore its halls. A ruin? Okay. Ah, so you accept. Well then, well, we'll then rely on this abnormality about? vexing Etria. It will fall to you to investigate the cause. In particular, I mean the earthquakes that have plagued us lately. Normally, we would think them to be the acts of God. But our own investigation has shown that these earthquakes seem to be related to an unknown ruin. It's an ancient place we discovered in a dangerous region where the ground rises and sinks. Whenever a mysterious sound echoes from the depths of the ruin, it is soon followed by a quake. Hmm. We have researched this thoroughly and concluded that there is no, uh, that there is a correlation between the sounds and the quakes. Yet we know not what it is. We've dispatched soldiers, but they were stimmed by the ruins denizens. Ah, so uh, there are monsters inside, huh? Now then. And so we sent you, a Highlander, to investigate this monster-infested room and put a stop to these earthquakes. We know that you are both skilled and trusted, so we will feel safe leaving the inquiry in your hands. We consider using an ordinary guild, of course, but it's better not to let one that the quakes uh, let on that the quakes are unnatural. We would rather investigate in secret. Once we know more, we might make a public announcement if necessary. Well then, we'll and with rely that, on you. I have said all I need to. We have a carriage ready to take you to the room. Once you are prepared, you can meet our soldier at the forest entrance. Ah, nice. Well uh, then, I have 477 in, which means. Do Do I want? need armor upgrades. I don't think I have anything ready to buy an armor upgrade, but I do have some things that I can sell. Just going to keep like free of everything. Since there is a chance we might need them for crystals. Probably not the poison thingies. Small things I can pretty much get on my own. Thanks, I got some new goods. Go on, and take a look. Yes, I can make new armor. It's good, but it's not for me. Well, never mind. How about this? That would boost up my strength a bit. Should I buy that? How much is it? 60. Eh, it's better than the hairpin. Sure, you can have that. Clip it right away. Yeah, much better. Much better. And Which I already have like five medicas, so I don't really need anything else. Not really sure if I need that. And the other things are way too expensive. Okay. I think with that, we are pretty much ready to go down there. Welcome to the Rooster Inn. Let's save Sign one more in time. Here, please. Come back here whenever you're tired. And I just need to go to the false entrance, right? Ah, there he is. Ah, you must be Ray. We were told to take you to investigate this new ruin. This new discovery, uh, it's some distance away, I mean. Once we depart, it won't be easy to return to town, so be sure you're ready first. What? <laughs> I established uh, step to be about a day carriage. Right from here. If you're ready, we can depart now. <sighs> oh, so I can't really return once I go there, huh? I mean, I did buy a few stuff, so uh, 
sure, we can go. Very well, then let us, then let us away. Oh yeah. Ooh, area one, glad sign. Cool. At the carriage ride's end, you step into a new discovered room with the soldier. Its walls supposedly built of advanced technologies are cold, driving home the rune's deep mystery. This is the unknown rune we found. The reports of monsters within made it too dangerous to explore. The writer told us they, they would send one skilled in battle, that is you, and that we were to leave him to it. Your first order of business will be to proceed into the depths of this floor and investigate what you can. We have no idea how large this place is, but we will pray that you succeed on your mission. I'll be waiting here for you. Come back if you need rest. Oh, so I, I can heal. Okay, I was worried about that. The soldier who guided you here then hands you a small bag as you are about to depart on your investigation. And you give me more nectars. I appreciate this. Nectars are expensive and medical is very important. After accepting the kit from the soldier, you walk into the unknown room. Wait mm -hmm. a second, let me just uh, knock this down. I guess this is going to be a staircase person. Because I don't think we have any other icon for people. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like it. Okay, let me just quickly check this out. Is that a shortcut? This is supposed to be a shortcut. Okay, so I need to watch out for cracks in the walls in order to proceed. And we also have our very first openable door. Okay, that's a good thing. But aren't there any enemies around in this area? I oh, never mind. Okay, it's already changed to green. That's good. That's good. That means the encounter rate around here is much lower than in the labyrinth itself. Because at this point, I would have probably already ran into some kind of monster already. At the very least in the, in the other area. So let's see. There's a door going further to the right. Seems to be an opening further to the south and another door leading more to the right. But we are pretty close to the bottom of this map, so maybe I should check this out. Might be stuff hitting. Or absolutely nothing. I mean, sure, that can, that can also happen. I guess we're just going to follow the line then. Uh, as you pass through the bizarre shaped doors of the ruin, you hear a strange sound and stop out of caution. You remain unmoving for a while, and the bizarre sounds stop as well. The area is blanket in silence once more. Does that mean there's going to follow up an earthquake soon? Normally? Maybe not? Nevertheless, you have a mission to venture further within and find the information to the uh, information the rather desires. You must dent your fear and continue deeper into the room. Mm -hmm. well, I wouldn't really say that I'm afraid right <laughs> now, but uh, okay. Oh my god, it's a rat! A singular rat! What the heck would I need to do? Oh wait, it's actually kind of strong. Never mind. But then again, I don't really want to use MP. <laughs> If I don't have to. Especially not against the singular red. So let's see. There's a door towards the north, but there's also another way towards the south. So. Not even an event. One item. That's bummer. Okay then. Door it is. But seriously, though, the encounter rate around here is. rather low. Which isn't bad, but still. Kind of weird. Oh wait, is there another shortcut? Oh yes it is. Okay. Let me 
else around here? Well, it seems like the centerpiece. But I don't really see any... Okay. Somewhere it's an FOE. But I'm not sure where. You pass through a numbers of doors, but see nothing to save from uh, nothing safe from more walls. You have yet to discover anything that Arada might consider useful. Still, it might be worth checking this room a bit more to ensure that there is nothing here. I'm supposed to check out this room a bit more. That's the red door. Meaning I can open this, huh? Nah. Okay. I mean, I don't mind checking out the room a bit more. Probably has something to do with this one. Is that a shortcut? Hmm? Oh, yes! Okay. Shortcut right over here. Leading to a device. Okay, then it looks probably something like this. Green all around the corners. There. And what is that? There's a mysterious box before you, emanating a strange light. That looks like a switch. Okay. Good that we made that clear. When you approach the box, it produces a new blue panel of light. Startled, you reach out for your weapon, but there's no other change. Your curiosity is strolled by the mysterious light. You consider touching it. Well, it is a switch. Don't worry, guy. <laughs> you can touch that. <laughs> Upon deciding to touch it, you let out an anxious breath before reaching towards the panel of light. Just in order to turn it on. <laughs> Upon doing so, you hear an unfamiliar sound. But there seems to be no notable change to your surrounding. It may be that something else has changed somewhere else on the floor. You try to think of what that might be, so that uh, you can go and see if a change has indeed occurred. Well, actually there was only one spot. The red door turned blue, meaning I can finally open it. to get inside. here sorry to drag you into this but we could use a hand oh okay okay so uh, that's how we are supposed to meet our party members huh <laughs> is that supposed to be an foe i'm actually finding an foe right now like right now uh looks like it nice and their names, Redhead, Doctor, Young Boy, and Odd Girl. Great! Great! Uh... 
you know, technically speaking, I would run. <laughs> I I would I would totally run if this if I here. Stay behind my shield, everyone. I'll protect you. Yeah, okay. Protectors have higher defenses than their expert and guarding skits. Use front guard to protect the front line and provoke to draw the attention. Yeah, provoke is going to be very important. Just let me know if you need any healing. That is going to be very helpful as well. Uh, you secure to heal allies, regenerate an ally who are frequently attacked. Ooh. Okay, that screams for a regenerate on burden. I'll burn them down with my formulas. He's an alchemist. They're effective for wielding elemental attacks. Make sure to use fire. Mm -hmm. Then I'm just going to use fire formula then. Enemy. She is a, she's a gunner, which uses firearms to attack from the rear. Use normal attacks and skills that bind enemies' heads, arms, and legs to limit the enemy's options. The head snap skill, which binds the head, is effective against the enemy you now face. Ah, face, face. Okay, that means I am going to go for the head binder. Come at me now. Take this. So, <laughs> wow. And that is why we do not wish to fight against the freaking. F O E. I'm just saying, okay? Just saying. Fire formula. We need to use our very first nectar already. Who would just believe that? Like <laughs> okay. I'm also trying to go for the head. You need to cure me. Well, I'm trying to go for another head snipe, please. I think it would be very advantageous to get the head bind. Okay. Now that we have that. Guess I'm just going to take normally then. Well, I'm going to go for fortify. How much are the buffs going to last now? I'm gonna run out soon. Okay, I'm gonna rebuff region. Fire for law, and you can try to get the arm as well. Now I know it doesn't really seem like he has any type of arms, but it should still be very helpful. Also, train trust. I'm gonna provoke. I'm gonna reach him as well. Fire for law. And how about instead of the arms, the legs should work out as well, right? Maybe. Okay, he's already unbounded. It's kind of bad. Another train trust. Oh god. We can also help out with uh, what is this? Raging Edge. Maybe cut attack. Sure. I mean, why not? Seems like it's your only fighting skill right now. Except of healing. Quite effective, quite effective. Front guard again. Actually, it would be good if you put Regan on yourself as well. Just saying. Just would, be, would be kind of helpful. There we go. Much better, much better. Uh, is this going to last for one more round? I'm gonna hit you again with Drain. You can attack as well. Hit him again with a raging edge. Fire. And please, for the love of God, get the legs! <laughs> okay, never mind. We didn't even need it. 400 XP. Good. So, I got his pelt and I got his infos. As the monster breath its last, it collapsed to the ground with an earth shaking touch. Now that the battle is over, you look towards the unfamiliar faces who you fought alongside. Seriously guys, what kind of meaning is this? You learned an every hit towards me! I should be angry! I literally died during the first turn! Okay? <laughs> ah. 
The three chased in by the monster are cleansing the weapon and inspect the monster's corpse in the aftermath. The young man in the white coat seems to be directing their efforts. And as for the others... She's quiet. The girl who had been asleep within the bizarre device now stands with a perplexed expression. You want answers, but you are unsure whether to seek them from the strange girl or the trio of intruders. Well... I guess I'm going to talk with the trio. I mean, she was pretty much asleep. But then again, she slept into the lights. Maybe she knows more about this place. Eh, never mind, we're going to talk to the girl. You ask the girl, who seems dazed now in, con in contrast to her prior bravery, who's, uh, who she is. Oh my god, I can't I'm read. Frederica. Frederica. Uh, the girl answers you quietly and then looks up at your face. She then closes her eyes with her brown, furrowed in thought. After uh, clenching her fist as if hurt or trying to remember something, she opens her eyes and continues. Um. I feel like I know you. I was with you before, when... Huh? The girl trades off again and clutches her templates as if in pain. Sensing that further conversation with the girl will be difficult, you step away from the girl, Frederica. Okay. She has headaches. Then we are going to talk to the trio then. Recalling that the Rada selected you alone to explore this room. You wonder who these three could be. Oh, did you just did you just try to steal stuff around here, like uh, the Scraver bus? I mean, it is an undiscovered ruin. Technically speaking, if that gets out, of course people would be interested in it. Uh, just as you are about to express your doubts, the young man in the white coat. He uh, wait, to the man, young man in the white coat. He noticed you and speaks up. Again, sorry to drag you into that fight, but it was thanks to you that we made it through alive. Oh, don't say that! I died the first turn! Again, you guys, <laughs> you guys pretty much rolled that, okay? <laughs> I guess that's what I get for defending the other partner, huh? The young man smite a fable. This may be a good time to raise the question. His presence implies. So... Who are you free, and what exactly are you doing here? The young man seems to have anticipated your question, and has a ready answer. Yeah. We are an investigation team, from the Midgar Library. Oh wait, whoa! The library? Oh! You guys are from the same library as we were from the second game! Okay, never mind, then that means those guys are good guys. I think. <laughs> Uh, we heard about strange happening here and came to see. And what about that monster? Hmm. That's, uh, I, I don't know. But it looks like a subspecies of camel that uh, natives to tropical climates? Okay. Still, it's a summary for, for surprising. If there are more beasts like that in this ruin, it could be very dangerous. After you speak with the young man in the lab coat, you take a step back to reassess the situation. The girl claims to know you, and the tree of the Midgar library is apparently also here to investigate. The trio is looking around and conferencing among themselves, but the girl's eyes are downcast. The young man occasionally looks to you and the girl with a worried expression. It may be his medical training. Upon reflection, she looks. Uh, she does look unwell. You consider voicing your concern for her, though you can also let it die. Uh, let it lie. Uh, well, back to investigation, huh? Nah, 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 nah. First, are you all right? Seriously, from our conversation beforehand, it seems like you have some kind of headache. The girl Frederica slowly raises her eyes to you upon hearing your voice. Um. Well, uh, I've remembered my name, she says. 
but that's all I remember. My mind feels foggy. <laughs> headaches. Lots of headaches. The girl makes another pained face as another headache renders her silent once again. What's the matter? She's very pale. I think it would be best if we would let her rest a while. Uh, what I overheard sounded quite peculiar. Did she not come here with you? <laughs> no, no, actually not. You tell him that you met the girl here, that her memory is body, and that she seems to know you somehow. Intrigued by this, the young man looks back and forth between the girl and the device in which she slept. Oh? Hmm. She was inside this room, huh? Amnesia can be very serious. But if her confusion is temporary, there's still hope. Seeing places or things she knows might jog her memory. Really? Things I... I know? The girl mutters to herself and looking at you with a troubled expression before continuing. I don't know what kind of things I know, but I feel like I know you. Please. Hey. Hey, could you could tell you... me your name? Oh. Sure, I'm Ray. <laughs> you tell her your name. And that you are a Highlander, come to investigate the ruin. Mm. Gray. The girl mutters your name to herself a few times, as if, as if testing to see if it sparks any remembrance. Mm. No good. It doesn't do anything for me. The girl sadly mutters to herself and looks around the room, as if hoping to find something she remembers. Mm. But. I feel like my mind is slowly starting to clear up. With that, the girl faces you again with determination in her eyes. Oh. Do you want to come with me? Um, hey Ray. You said you came to investigate too, right? Then do you want to come with me? Well, uh, sure. I mean, after all, I already saw an opening that you guys are my party members. And traveling alone is very dangerous. So yeah, let's go together. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> She's smiling. The girl gives a small smile as she thanks you, seemingly relieved by your answer. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like the two of you have come to an agreement. The young man quickly looks between you and the girl before continuing. If you plan to keep on exploring this ruin, might we join As you? I mentioned earlier. We came to investigate this same ruin. I believe we can be of use to each other. The young man of the Mikat, uh, Midgar Library investigation team eagerly awaits your response. Dude, you're a medic! Of course, let's work together! <laughs> the young man in the white coat smiles to hear your reply. Good. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? Yeah, and so far I only called you white, white goat guy. So, uh... We need to change that. My name is Simon. I act as the leader of this investigation team. Ooh, okay. I'm Ray. Nice to meet you. Then shall we proceed? Sensing that your conversation is coming to a close, the blonde boy waves to you and raises his voice. Hey, are you guys done yet? Let's go! What about your name? Introduction time! Well... Never mind! Seems to be Arthur! Just a moment, Arthur. We're going to be accompanying him now. Huh? Uh, how comes? It'll be good to have a Highlander along. It's not been easy with just the three of us. Well, hello there. I'm Rakuna. It's nice meeting you, Highlander. The protector woman, clad in silvery white armor, smiles as she greets you. Well, if Simon says, I guess it's okay. Hey, I'm Arthur. Thanks for helping. Sorry you got dragged into it. The mischievous blonde boy grins as, uh, as he says so. You nod, ready to continue your search with the amnestic girl and Midgar Library investigation team. Great! Now I need to remember Frederica, Simon, Arthur and Raguna. Hey. It's going to be... it's going to take a while. Hey Ray, can we start by checking out that device? Device? Uh, the girl is pointing at this mysterious device where she slept. She seems to be curious about that. You can follow her suggestion and examine it. Or look elsewhere. Well, can I have a moment? 
don't really see a reason why I wouldn't check it out. The immense device from which the girl emerged is no longer glowing or moving at all. As you approach to, ex to examine its shape and interior, the young man Simon mutters to himself, hmm. This technology is far beyond our own. The girl emerged from the device forged by an ancient civilization, now lost. How bizarre is all it? Hmm. Yeah, plus, wouldn't it be uncomfortable trying to sleep standing up in this thing? Simon's perplexed musing, <laughs> perplexed musing and the boy's Arthur irrelevant remarks washes, washes over you as you too examine the device. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, Frederica stands next to you and looks at the device side. Ah. Oh, look at this! The girl, having seemingly made the discovery, points to a section of the device. You see worth beneath the dust and moss on the side of the device, Frederica indicates. Hibernation test subject. Test subject? Frederica. You were a test subject? What? Wait, you can read that? Frederica nods to the armored woman. Question. Why are you still calling her that? I need to get used to the names. Don't say armored woman. <laughs> Continue to pour over the writing. Um. We pray for Ricky's future as she enters a long slumber for the sake of our project. Ricky's future? Me? Is this about me? Is Ricky your, your nickname? I think I have an easier time remembering that than Frederica. The girl looks anxious up to you, but the words she is reading are beyond your comprehension. She inspected the device thoroughly in search for more information, but there seems to be none. There's nothing more for us here. There doesn't seem to be anything written there that would help us in our investigation. Just as you are attempting to agree, you hear a boy's shout. Hey, Simon. You found something? As you were investigating the device, Arthur had climbed on top of it and now calls out to you loudly. When you find him, the boy was, has fitted himself perfectly into where Frederica has been sleeping. <laughs> it's really soft in here. It fits great. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Need to get used to Arthur. Hey. You said you were an investigation team, huh? <laughs> <sighs> Yeah? Um... Well, he, um... <clears throat> uh, he is good in fighting, but that's about it. You wait for Arthur to clamber down from the device so you can continue searching for my clues. So, from the looks of it, we need to check out this next. Even though it seems like this is some kind of shortcut. Let's just quickly place this here. Beyond the walls which the monster faced earlier destroyed, you discover a passage. Arthur seems, to, uh, seems beside himself with excitement at discovering the new path. Hmm? Hey! I think at least the other side. We haven't been there yet, right? Yeah. Guess we own that monster wall now? There's no way we would have knocked down this wall ourselves. Thought so. Yeah, it's real solid. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen this kind of thing before. Where the heck did it run from? Uh, the rune come I from, I mean. So... Oh my god. <laughs> that face! <laughs> well, that, that's what we came to investigate, Arthur. I know. I know that. <laughs> Isn't that enough? Well, if you're going to fool around, can it wait until later? Let's move on. Let's keep going. If this area hasn't been checked yet, you will need to do that, right? With that, Frederica slips through the cracks in the wall. You hurry and follow her in. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to swap the map really quickly since it seems like we are back on the in investigation track. From the looks of it at the least. So, and actually, you know what? Huh? I'm going to use this chance hmm? to heal up really quickly. Uh, I would like to rest. There. Much better. Much, much better. 
everyone has a TP again. Which means my healer has full TP and I have fully recovered. Now, there seems to be something towards this side. But I also notice, learning about Shirley, we're running out of time. So how about we're going to save that for the next part? Yeah, who knows? Who knows how deep we need to travel through the through the ruin, right? <laughs> who knows how deep we need to explore? And I also need to check out their skills really quickly, since now we have a full party. Which means, now, I need to see what everyone can learn. Because it's actually been a while since I used the protector. And my... My medic already has some kind of sword ability? I didn't know that uh, a medic is able to use swords. Nevertheless, I'm going to check that out really quickly. And see you in the next part. Until then! Bye bye!